Boxing King Media. We're joined by Will Coley and Mark Dickinson. Mark, I've been told you don't like doing interviews. I don't mind an interview. I'm not camera shy. Good stuff. So, obviously, you, stay, you guys have come down to Nottingham to support your stable mate. You know, what does it mean to, to you guys, obviously, to support Lee for this big fight? You know, what are you expecting to see on fight night? Um, to see where Lee Woods came from, from when we first joined the gym, was around the time Lee Wood joined the gym as well. So to see where he came from, coming off a loss, and then he came to win the British title, then to win the world title, and now to be in a big fight like this, um, I think he's got everything it takes to win the fight, and um, it'll be good to see him do it on the night. What about you, Will? I think he just answered all the questions in one, hasn't he? Um, now nah, it's unbelievable to see my stable mate up there, defending his world title, um, in a very hard, tricky fight, what I think it's going to be. But I definitely believe it's one that he's going to win by knockout as well. Lee's constantly talking about the knockout. I think it was raised in the press conference. Do you guys think Lee could win this some points? Can he outbox Michael Conlon? Lee, Lee's a very, very good boxer. He's uh, very underestimated with his boxing skill. But when I say it, his punching power is its something I've never, ever, ever felt. I've, I've body spied him and it's just unbelievable how I'm hard a, he hits. I'm a, middle, I'm a middleweight. And um, everyone was going about his power. I thought uh, he's a featherweight, you know. So I've done a bit of body spam with him. And he let four or five shots go, and I took him on the arms. And I honestly thought, wow, like middleweights don't hit like that. You know what I mean? So if he catches him, it's game over. Mark, I've got to ask you about Will's debut. And a lot of people are saying it's probably one of the best debuts I've seen from somebody transitioning from the amateurs to the pro game. What did you think of his debut? Um, oh, I thought it was unbelievable. But I've knew Will for a lot of years now. I know how good he is. I knew in the amateurs he was always suited to the pros. And um, I knew what he was going to do come his debut. I knew it was going to be a shout-out performance. Um, and I know what he can go on to do as well. He's going to be a world champion. Well, now you've had time to think about it and obviously reflect on how your debut went. What can the fans expect to see in your next fight? And what was it like, you know, your family and friends watching you on TV? Yeah, it was good. Um, <laughs> we need a bit more than it was good. <laughs> Listen, every fight's good. And I, until I get a world title belt, you're not going to get anything more than it was good. But um, good experience, good rounds. And um, hopefully I'm getting uh, news rather today or tomorrow. And um, yeah, I just think I'm going to keep getting better in every fight. And talking about debuts, did you see he's one? I was, just, I was going to go on to your knockout next. We're talking about punching power. You look like a man with a lot of power yourself. Talk to me about your debut. Um, my debut it was against a tough um, journeyman. He just went the distance with an Irish fighter called Aaron McKenna. So going into the fight, I had in my head I was going to six rounds. I wasn't really looking for the knockout and uh, picked the perfect shot and he folded. I didn't think it really had much to do with oh, my one punch knockout artist. You know, I just picked the right shot and it was game over. But um, yeah, then I had my second fight just before Christmas against, I moved up to light heavyweight, Ben put me in, so I didn't blow him away, because I need to learn everyone doesn't get shot out in the first round, and he was taking everything I had, you know, so um, it was good experience, a good six rounds, and um, I'm in good stead now for 2022. A date's coming very, very soon, I can't give it a date yet, but um, a date's coming very soon. Good man. Can I just get Barry now? Barry, I understand you're the master tactician with Ben. <laughs> What, what, what's your role in the, you know, the Ben Davidson camp? To talk to the, what you do there. I'm a coach. I'm, a, I'm the, one of the coaches up there, so you know, it's only me and Ben who are the coaches, so yeah, I'm the coach. I train these two, the Beast and Baby Canelo. <laughs> We've got a lot of fighters, obviously the McCormack brothers have recently joined as well. You know, is this going to keep expanding? You know, what's future plans? It's hard to say really, you know, what are the future plans? Cause Boxing, you just don't know what way the wind's going to blow sometimes, but are we expanded? I don't, at the minute, we are proper locked in at the minute, you know what I'm saying? We've, like, we've got nothing but quality there, as you can see, and um, you never know if, if the right fight comes along, you know. Ben says, yeah, we'll have to see what happens there, but we're only taking on like sort of quality fighters there, as you can see, you know what I mean? Like GB got. <laughs> so, just confirm the weights you guys can fight now. That's super flyweight for you, Will, and Mark. Middle work for me. Sweet guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank yeah, you very much, man. Thank yeah, you thank you. Much.